Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make any flat image look like it's an unfolded piece of paper complete with shadows, folds, and a three-dimensional look. This document is 17 by 11 inches with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Go to View and make sure rulers and snap are checked. Go to the left ruler, click, and drag out a line to approximately a third of the way across your document. Drag out another line approximately two-thirds of the way. Go to the ruler at the top and drag out a line to the middle. Click on the New Layer icon, which creates a new layer. Call up your rectangular marquee tool. Click on the top left corner and drag out a rectangle to the opposite corner of the closest guideline. It'll snap to it because we have snap checked. Call up your gradient tool and click on the gradient. That will open the gradient editor. Click on the black to white preset and click OK. Click on the top right corner and drag out a line to the opposite corner. Press M to call up your marquee tool again and click on the bottom right corner of the box. Drag out a rectangle to the bottom left corner of the lower left box. Press G to call up your gradient tool again and drag out a line from the upper left to the lower right corners. Continue to create gradients in all six boxes that match the ones I'm doing now. Press Ctrl or Command plus D to delete the selection and Ctrl or Command plus H to hide the guidelines. In the Layers panel, we'll change the Blend Mode from Normal to Linear Burn and make the Opacity 35%. For this image, I want to brighten the lighter areas a bit more. For your image, it might not be necessary. I'll click on the Adjustment Layer icon and choose Levels. I'll change the Input Highlights to 170. It looks good as it is, but let's give it more dimension. We'll make a composite snapshot by pressing Control shift alt e or Command shift option e on a Mac. Drag out a rectangle across the upper left box and press Control or Command plus J to cut the selection from the image and copy it to its own layer. Let's rename it UL for upper left. Click on your image to make it active and drag out a rectangle across the upper middle box. We'll cut the selection out and make a copy and rename it UM for upper middle. Click on your image again and drag a rectangle across the upper right. We'll cut and copy it and rename it UR for upper right. Continue this process until all six boxes have been cut and copied to their own layers. Go to Image and Canvas Size. Change the inches to percent and we'll make the width and the height 120. Make the canvas extension color black and click OK. To see the entire image on your screen, press Ctrl or Command plus zero. With the bottom box layer active, go to the top box layer, press Shift and click. This highlights all the layers in between. Press Ctrl or Command plus G and this puts all the layers into a folder. I'll rename it Map Sections. Go to the new layer icon, press Ctrl or Command and click on it. This creates a new layer below the active layer. We'll fill it with black and since black is our foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. We'll hide all the other layers below it since we don't need to see them anymore. Open the folder and click on the upper left box to make it active. Press Ctrl or Command plus T to call up your transform tool and press Ctrl or Command as you click on the upper left anchor point. Press Shift and drag it out a bit to the left. Go to the top right anchor point, press Ctrl or Command plus Shift and drag it down a bit. Press Enter or Return to accept the transform. Click on the lower left box layer to make it active. Call up your Transform tool and click on the lower left anchor point. Press Ctrl or Command plus Shift and drag it to the left a bit. Go to the right anchor point, repeat the process and drag it up. Make the lower middle box active. Call up your Transform tool and drag the lower left anchor point to meet the corner of the box next to it. Continue this process until all the boxes have been transformed to similar angles of the ones you see here. You'll notice that most, if not all, of the edges of your boxes don't exactly match up. You can fix this easily by calling up the Transform tool and clicking the Warp icon. 
The warp function breaks the transform into nine separate boxes whose points can be individually dragged around, which stretches the image under it to its new position. Continue this process with each box until all of them match up with their neighboring boxes. Now we have a folded map whose folds are no longer flat, which gives our image dimension. We can make it look even more dimensional by angling the entire image. Click on the Map Sections folder and click on the New Layer icon. Drag the empty layer above the folder and press Control shift alt e or Command shift option e to make a composite snapshot. Go to the top box and press Control or Command as you click on it. This will call up its selection. Go to the next box and press Shift and Control or Command to add its selection. Continue going to each box as you press Shift and Control or Command to add their selections. You'll now have one selection of the entire map comprised of all the boxes together. Press Control or Command plus J to cut the selection from the image and copy it to its own layer. Make a new layer under the active layer and fill it with black. Click on the top layer to make it active. Click 3D and New 3D Postcard from Layer. Click on the 3D Object Toolbox and call up the Rotate tool. Click on the image and drag your cursor up to rotate the object back in space on its horizontal axis. Call up the Scale tool and click on the object and drag down to reduce its size. To move it up in space, call up your Pan tool, click on the object and drag it up. Using these techniques, you can take any object and lay it flat with folds, give it a folded dimensional look, and even give it depth. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.